Well, welcome to February the 14th, 2020. In our video devotional here at Covenant Keepers Ministries, today is Valentine's Day, and I think I have a very appropriate video devotional to help us understand what I've been trying to help us walk through in setting a system of a lifestyle, a philosophy of a lifestyle of worship. And before I proceed further to talk about what will probably be geared to pastors and church leaders more, but really every every priest and king under God ought to know about the philosophy of a church worship, I want to share how this concept of worship philosophy is working right now in my life. How do I worship God every day with the circumstances I find myself in right now? I'm 70 years old. I call myself semi-retired. That means I'm, I'm working hard to try not to work. But I work about 20 to 30 hours a week on Covenant Keepers Ministries. And depends on the week how, much, how many hours I put in. I have, with the help of my wife and family, just finished restoring the house we bought that had had a fire. We moved into this house last July. We've been spending multiple hours since July, I mean, sometimes 60 hours a week cleaning up the yard after we moved into this place. And my wife fell last March and broke both her wrists, had surgery on one and had to have a plate put in it and soft cast on her other wrist. And last month, January the 7th, she had both of her knees replaced. In the midst of all that's transpired in our lives, how do I best worship God since I know I already have a system of worship, a philosophy, how I do it? So if my philosophy of worship is true to everyday life, here is what has been important for me. I read the scriptures every day. I have every one of these days and all the stuff we've walked through. I pray I mull over those scriptures and sometimes spend a couple hours or more just looking through things that just stimulate my thinking and, and challenge me and asking God to help me understand. And then I pray over the needs of our family and the, and the needs of friends. And I'm on a, a prayer team and I pray over the requests that have been brought to us and people say things to me and I pray about those things. And, and I've carefully with my wife prayed how God would order our steps and help us be a blessing to others. And I've honestly tried to practice loving people at every opportunity I've been giving. And I failed a number of times to do that. And, and I failed to treat other people as I would like to be treated myself. And when that's happened, it's messed with me because really that's, that's a part of my philosophy. I, I want to glorify God with my life. And I, when I've messed up, I've been aware of it. And I simply ask God, Help me do better with everyone, including those who treated me poorly and are simply acted irresponsibly around me. And so I've had lots of hours right now because of the cold and, and snow and truly believe that my worship of God, of God has taken a certain form in this season of my life. And I'll be honest with you, I, I have had the opportunity and I'm seizing it to the best of my ability and the help of the Holy Spirit, who is helping me, praise God. And the form of my worship has been to take care of my wife. From praying over her, to rubbing her legs, uh, sometimes multiple times a day, to cooking the meals. And I, I haven't cooked that many of them, quite frankly, because I am not a cook. And <laughs> I know my wife would attest to it, but we did have, we did have sausage gravy over biscuits a uh, number of mornings that my wife, instructed me how to make it. I've, I've washed the dishes, dried the dishes, put them in their proper places, washed and dried the clothes, cleaned the house, and that's been worship. <clears throat> I mean that. That's been worship to God. I've been attempting to glorify God through that. Now, I've been doing this for over a month already in this new year. <laughs> I'm not bragging about it. God forbid. And I'm not whining about it. I'm simply worshiping God Attempting to bring him glory by taking care of my wife as I am able. To be truthful, last week after over three weeks of doing this and, and my wife still having lots of pain and it not subsiding, I, I got to thinking, I, I need a little self-pity here. And so 
I went upstairs in our house and I wanted to bring God on in on my little self-pity party. Can you imagine me inviting God? Come on, God. I want you to have some pity on me too here. It was rather amazing because I walked into the walk-in closet in our master bedroom and I, and I was I was getting preparation to my grumbling and complaining time, inviting God to do it. And, and as I walked through the through the bathroom door into the walk-in closet, it wasn't an aha moment. It was just the gentle, soothing presence of the Holy Spirit and the song that I knew from years ago just immediately just came into my spirit. And it was this song about standing on holy ground. And I, when I walked through the door, I sensed your presence. And I knew this was the place where love abounds. It's the presence of Jehovah God Almighty. Because I'm standing in your presence on holy ground. And I was... I was starting to sing this this song and and uh, I was I was tearing up because God was not allowing me to to grumble and complain. He was He was seeing my heart was I want to do my best to worship you, God. And that song goes on and and it says in your presence there's joy beyond all measure. And at your feet, there are pleasures that abound. If you have a need, I know that Jesus is the answer. Reach out and touch him, friend. You're standing on holy ground. And I, I can only tell you that I didn't get to grumble and complain. I didn't even think about it again that day. I just went about bringing glory to God by loving on my wife, the neighbor <laughs> that God put in my house, who is my bride. And it really hasn't been all that tough, quite frankly. Yeah, it's a big change to my systems of my, how I, my everyday goes. My wife's not making meals anymore, and I usually help with the dishes. I help cleaning, but I usually don't do the clothes. But it was a change, and, and change is okay. Change is okay when we realize that the philosophy of, of our worship, a lifestyle of worship, is that in whatever circumstance we find ourselves, what trial, what tribulation, what victory, what celebration, the whole purpose of our life is that in it, we bring glory to God. And, and I was also reminded that the scripture tells me three times in one chapter in Ephesians 5 to love my wife and I'm to do it like Christ loves the church. And since I'm committed, my heart is directed toward God, I'm committed to loving my wife like Christ has loved the church then the best action of worship in my life right now, my highest worship right now is serving my wife, and in doing that, I'm glorifying God. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, I don't know your circumstance. I don't know what trouble you're in or what trial you're going through or what victory you're celebrating. But I want to tell you, whatever we do, whatever we're in when we do it, we're to be doing it for the glory of God. And I pray that Jesus will be honored by all of us because that's how we live our life. Let's pray. Oh God, be glorified in us as we do everything we can possibly do to glorify you. Thank you for helping us because sometimes, Lord, that seems to be really difficult. Help our focus to be where it's needed. And Lord, I do pray through me and through those who watch this video, who follow you, you will be glorified. Amen. Well, God's grace and peace over you. Have a marvelous, blessed day.